Hello all, Craig Brasher here from Advanced Solutions. Today I'd like to show you a few more new enhancements to the 2012 product. One of those enhancements is the ability to use the Select Other tool. Now before, it was a little green dot and it gave you little two arrows on either side to pick from the choices. Now you can just highlight which object that you want, which makes it so much easier to use and now you know for sure which objects that you're making. Another nice new enhancement is the sectioning tool. When I pick on a particular face and so now I can dynamically drag which uh, how I want that uh, section to look. I can even use that section in a drawing view as well. Now another nice little tool that I talked about last post was the marking menu. You know when I right click I get that marking menu okay now you can actually change this look and feel for instance maybe I don't want work plane to be in my you know five o'clock position well to do that all I have to do is go to the customization area and pick on that particular command and then I would find the command that I want to replace it with such as move component now if I right click, I have that new command there. Some part enhancements are the sketch, excuse me, are the sweep and the rib tool. Now the sweep tool, it looks similar to what it was before, but now I can just pick the edge of a part to create the additional path. I don't have to create a second sketch. It goes ahead and creates that 3D sketch for me. Also, the rib command looks completely different. It has a couple of new tabs in here, draft and boss. So it still makes your, your drafts or you mix your ribs the same way. But what happens here is now that you can use that data a little bit differently. You have a draft that can be from the top or from the root. You also can add a boss there, so a little round node. Now, for that to work, you actually have to have a little center mark for that to work. So those are some new things. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good afternoon.